A mother's heartbreak. A woman is now planning funerals for both her son and her daughter after a freak accident. She says the twins came into this world together and they also left it together when they were both electrocuted in the aftermath of Nicole. Fox 35's Marie Edinger found out more about the twins today. One credited for helping save lives during the pandemic, but Marie, their mother says the duo imprinted on everyone they met. Absolutely, and it isn't just their mother saying that. In fact, behind me, you can see Khalil and Kiana Sapp, friends of the family of the 23-year-old twins, are in utter disbelief tonight, saying these weren't just good people. They were outstanding. They weren't liked. They were loved. And this isn't just a loss. It's a tragedy. Everybody here is hurt. Everybody here is still in disbelief. Uh, everybody here is still trying to deal with this one day at a time. Khalil and Kiana Sapp were two people who'd give anything for others, their loved ones told Fox 35. During the pandemic, Khalil worked on the front lines, administering COVID tests, putting himself at risk to protect others. That's how he met Isaac Riano. The friendship started from that moment. He was always happy, he was willing to help. Khalil started working in Rihanna's nail salon in Orlando. He's one of those persons that was always happy, positive, always willing to help. Um, he's the first one to come into the shop, help us get everything ready for the day. He's the last one to leave. Rihanna says Kiana was much the same way. The twins' mother was too distraught to go on camera, but she told Fox 35 in a statement, they were good kids. They were the life of the party. She continued, they always helped out whenever they can. Either one would give you the shirt off their back. They would do anything for you. It's that type of personality that makes Rihanna think the twins only came in contact with the power lines that killed them in an effort to move them and protect others. I don't think it's somebody who went and intentionally went and touched a cable. It's just somebody who wanted to help to make sure that nobody else will get hurt. His sister being her sister, you know, sees this going on and sees his brother struggling. And the first thing she wants to do is go help him, you know, and I'm pretty sure that that's what she did. Kiana's baby daughter was in the car with the twins at the time. She is doing okay. She'll turn two next month.